All right, let's talk cheap radios real quick. Sorry about the cat. I tried to move him a few times and he would not go away, so we're just gonna fucking do this. <clears throat> so, let's start with your basic Baofeng. This is the Baofeng UV5R. You can get these on the internet. Different places on the internet for very, very cheap. Uh, just make sure it's authentic. Spend the money on Amazon or buy direct from B Tech. So when you get this radio, uh, it's going to be pretty basic. You can switch the modes here. In the basic VFO mode, you can literally type in your frequency. <laughs> this cat does not want, he just wants to be in frame. So, um, you have two modes essentially. So if you if you plug this thing into a computer, you can program it with your local repeaters or local fire EMS services, uh, police services, or even uh, you and a buddy may have a, a repeater or just a channel that you talk on. So this uh, you can program all that stuff in in the program mode, or I think it's called the, yeah, the MR mode on Baofeng. Uh, so yeah, and then if you go to the VFO mode, you can literally type in a frequency, let's do 142142, and type it in and use it that way. So that's nice and simple. Uh, now, let me go over just real quick my radio so these radios that one of the downsides i think to a stock radio is the battery with a battery like this a small battery you can see it's got the three little notches on the bottom there's nothing on the sides here pay attention there so to charge this up i need a brick a thing like this a little station plugs into it plugs into the wall. You can also get USB adapter adapters for these and you can charge it with USB, which I highly recommend. Although I don't like these things um, and I don't use them. I also don't use batteries like this, although I do keep them around just in case charged up. So the nice thing about Baofeng radios is you can get these Extendo batteries for super cheap and they will fit on any of the UV pattern radios. This adds a shitload of capacity. And also, if you look right here, that is a charging port. It allows you to charge with a cable like this. On the end, we've got USB. On the other end, we have this little DC connector. It plugs right in here and you're charging. See, if you're, for whatever reason, camping, or outside of uh, outside of your, your home, you can plug this into a battery bank that you may have charged with solar um, or something like that. So that's that. Also, I'll just show real quick the programming cable for these. These are super cheap. You can get them on Amazon. All this stuff's pretty cheap. This is all cheap China shit, but it's actually made really, really well to FCC standards, which is quite nice. So on this side of the radio, the non-talk side, you've got this little thing that pops up, little cover, waterproof cover. It is not waterproof. Um, and you plug this in. This is this this can be used for multiple different things. Uh, you can plug in a little push to talk which in my other video that I may have already posted um, you, you can put plug that in here and then plug a headset into that and you've got uh, a full-on uh, whatever remote control of, of this unit you still have to change the channels on here but on the actual unit itself uh, or scan the channels depending on how you're using it but yeah so that's that's nice that little accessory port there Also, this can be used for, pro so this is what you use for programming. Uh, it's got that same, that same connector for whatever reason, uh, plugs in and then you, you, you've got USB on the other end and you can use a free piece of software called Chirp 
to program your radio. The radio that I like to use is the BF8HP. They're a little bit different in their form, but it's still a UV5R at heart. It just looks slightly cooler, in my opinion. It is 8 watts on high power instead of 5 watts. That's your transmit power. Um, so, yeah, this is the radio that I like to use. I have four of these that I keep in all different places, and they're outstanding. So when you get your radio, you'll see there's a little connector here. Uh, it comes with a cheap, shitty antenna. It's like this long, and they're shit. It's called, a, uh, the term is rubber duck antenna. I do not like them. I, uh, I opt for the, when I'm, when I'm mobile or I just want to walk around with the radio, I like this super elastic signal stick. So it is, as the name implies, super fucking elastic. And I also like to opt and get a little BNC adapter. For my radio so this I'm not gonna take it off because I have it uh, on there with Loctite blue Loctite and the cat is just being so fucking cute in the background but that's all right so this is on there with Loctite and this essentially saves your connector here you can see it's just a little pin popping out of there if you put an antenna on wrong and you fuck that that up that little connector your radio is trash and you, you have to fucking get rid of it so they make a that's that is called an sma male connector so you would need if you wanted to change your antenna you would need an antenna that has an sma female connector to plug into that and it just threads right on i don't have any around because i don't use that type of an antenna uh termination I prefer the BNC connector. So with a BNC adapter, I've got an SMA female uh, on one side of this BNC adapter, and then it is just a standard BNC. That's, uh, that's, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it stands for, but it just makes switching things out super fast, super easy. So you take this, it just, turns and slides right on there and your antenna is on it is secure it is not coming off i have a, a home antenna uh, that i've got running into the house uh, that's on my roof that has a bnc connector on so if i wanted to i could just take this plug that same bnc connector on there from from the cable that's coming down off my roof and i can transmit and receive so it's fast it is easy to use. Uh, it prevents wear on your SMA connector. And I highly recommend it if you're getting into radios. So that's the dead basics and that's all I wanted to go over in this video for people that are just interested in getting started. When you program, you can do cool things like when you turn it on, it shows you know your name or whatever. And I've got this radio programmed with a bunch of our local repeaters, fire, EMS, channel that me and a buddy like to chat on, and things like that. So that's the, that's it. That's all I really had to have to say. I, I just wanted to go over the dead basics. I'm going to do another video here in a little bit and go over how to program these because a lot of people think it's really hard and it's not. Uh, many people will pay someone else to program their radio for them. Uh, and the, that person that they're paying is just going online and with finding free information and just uh, charging to, uh, to put it onto their radio. Some people will do it because they don't want to fork out $5 for a programming cable or they're just stupid and don't know how to use a computer. I believe that everyone watching this video knows how to, how to use a computer and is capable of uh, programming one of these even uh, even with no knowledge it's very straightforward 
websites like repeaterbook.com. Uh, you can find a ton of local repeaters. Uh, there are many resources out there. Uh, so Google is your friend with all this shit. Uh, but my main thing that I wanted to point out here was the Extendo batteries, which are just, they're super clutch. And the fact that you can just plug this in with a DC connector and plug that USB in to your battery and you, you can charge it up. Batteries are super, super cheap. Just make sure you're not buying fake cheap shit uh, because that does exist. You want it to be sold by... B Tech. That is B T E C H. That is Baofeng's U.S. distributor. Another cool thing with these radios, real quick, is you can actually buy amplifiers for these. So this is an eight-watt radio. Uh, when I transmit, it transmits at eight watts. You can get an amplifier for this and bring that up from eight watts to forty watts, or even two hundred watts, for under a hundred bucks. Um, and that turns this little radio into a monster. You can transmit for 10 miles easy, maybe 20, 30. If you're high up, or if you're able to get your antenna high enough, you can transmit for hundreds of miles at that uh, power. And surprisingly, these little, even these little super elastic signal sticks, these are rated at 100 watts, which I do not understand. I don't know how they're able to do it with such a tiny little antenna. Um, and it, I mean, it's not super, it's not very short. It is the, I will get into technical specifications later, um, but there's a reason it's the length that it is, and that's because it works for the two bands that these radios run on, which are the two meter and the 70 centimeter band, or 144 and 442, I believe megahertz range and that is in the fm frequency spectrum so uh yeah that's that's the basics i will go into more detail in another video i just wanted to show the radio and what it is and how i like to set my personal shit up uh for anybody that may be curious so anyway that's that hope you enjoyed the video there will be more to come, inevitably, and I apologize for that.